You're watching CTV News Channel. I'm Renee Rogers. Breaking news this evening out of Quebec. A deadly stabbing attack west of Montreal today has left two women dead and another in critical condition. The suspect, a 44-year-old man, was arrested at the scene by police. The two women were pronounced dead at the scene. Their identities and ages have not been released. A witness says the suspect lived in the building where the attack took place and appeared to be in a state of crisis. And joining me now to talk more about this is Renaud Pilon, the spokesperson for CETAM. That is the ambulance cooperative that oversees paramedic services in the area. Mr. Pilon, thank you for being here. Of course. Now, at what time was your team called to the scene? Well, approximately uh, around um, 1 p.m., I would say. And and how much of your services were deployed to this incident? Were they all used? Uh, well, yes, uh, there were actually five ambulances uh, called on the team, plus uh, three the providers, two advanced care paramedic team as well uh, were there. Um, yeah, so there were a lot of our resources, basically all the resources in our area was sent there. How many people in total then are currently being treated? Well, uh, at first, uh, I, I will have to say that in total, there were four victims, including the suspect. Uh, but we first re received a call for multiple victims who were involved in a severe aggression involving later weapon, as you know. Uh, in, the, in the three victims, two were... Uh, found lifeless uh, on scene. CPR was administrated at first, but they were pronounced dead uh, shortly afterwards. The other one, as you stated, was uh, in critical condition, brought to the hospital, accompanied by our advanced care paramedic. Now, you say the suspect was injured as well. Is there anything you can tell us about that? I unfortunately cannot. There is an ongoing investigation right now, so uh, we have to let the police do their job on, on that part. All right. Now, all of the injured, were, were they all transported to the same place? Uh, no, actually, there was one person who was sent in Montreal who was in critical state. Uh, two, two, uh, the two other victims were on scene and their death was pronounced on scene. There was no transport for them at this point. Uh, the coroner was uh, sent later on. And now is your team still at the scene? Uh, are you still needed there? No, our, all of our team and uh, per, person was were gone. Everything uh, is back to, uh, to to normal. Well, there is a uh, you know a debriefing going on that's for sure with the, all the teams that were involved in there. And of course, I would like to address our deepest condolences to all the, you know the, the the victim families. Uh, we can imagine what kind of a rough time they are going through. Yes, it absolutely must be terrible. And, and at this point, we understand uh, two women are dead. Uh, is that your understanding as well? Exactly, yes. Okay. Uh, is there anything further uh, that you do in incidents like this? Well, anything further, it was like, you know, we... As we said, there is a, you know, a debriefing going on with our team. So basically, it's it's about that. We just want to make sure that the mental mental state of all the you know the paramedics, firefighters, the police officers that were brought on scene are going to be all right for the the next days, you know, months. And a big follow up is going to be needed after that. Yes, I can certainly imagine. Uh, unfortunately, that is our time. Uh, we will have to leave it there. Renaud Pilon, the spokesperson for CETAM, uh, we thank you very much for your time and uh, wish you all the best and your team as well. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.